one of the important components for B2B is basically the support for protocols. So today we'll take a look at how we can configure an AS2 connection to our trading partner. So under design and connections, we are now able to create a connection for AS2. We go ahead and give a name for our connection and click create. Now this is created in the role of trigger and invoke, meaning the trading partner can trigger an AS2 connection to us, and we are also able to invoke a connection back to the trading partner. The AS2 service URL is basically the trading partner's AS2 endpoint, and this will be used to invoke a connection to the trading partner, and it will look something like this. Under optional parameters, we have the option of enabling two-way SSL, and for that, we need to provide the client's identity key as well. This is again optional, but under security, we have two policies, the basic and advanced policy. The basic policy requests minimal um, security parameters as seen here. The username and password, although it says optional, is kind of required for the trading partner to connect to OIC. This is a mandatory requirement from OIC for security purposes. So what needs to happen is we will need to create a service user for the trading partners and provide those credentials to them so that they are using those credentials while connecting to OIC via AS2. And those same credentials need to be configured here so that when the connection is initiated, we can now validate them against this and authenticate. Private key is used for, again, decryption and signature generation. This is OIC's private key, and this needs to be uploaded in the um, certificate manager, and the alias needs to be specified here. The key password, which is associated with this private key, needs to be um, defined here. And the partner's public certificate, again, needs to be uploaded in under the certificate management. And that alias needs to be used here. And then this certificate will be used for encryption and signature verification. Under advanced policies, so as you can see, it is much more granular in nature. But typically, most of the con configurations rely on basic policies. So once all these parameters are set up, you can go ahead and click test and then uh, save this con connection. Now this is ready to be used as part of the trading partner configuration.